Innovation is the main driving force of Atlas Copco. Our history is defined by many breakthrough innovations in air compression. Oil-free air and Class Zero technology for process air applications. Variable speed drive compressors, full feature models with integrated dryers and filters, magnetic bearings, permanent magnet motors. These and many other milestones have set new standards in energy efficiency. Many of these innovations originate at Atlas Copco Air Power in Wilrac, Belgium, the home of the Atlas Copco Compressor Technique business area. More than 600 on-site engineers in the various product divisions are on a never-ending journey to push the boundaries of compressor technology. Compressor design focuses on minimizing energy consumption while energy recovery modules convert compression heat into drying air hot water or electric power. By applying these same building blocks and core competences, Atlas Copco is now in a unique position to transfer heat into electricity through expansion. This is one of many technologies used by the organic Rankine cycle to generate power out of almost any type of heat source. In the organic Rankine cycle, Heat is transferred to a working fluid in a closed-loop system. In this example, hot brine is taken from a geothermal source. It's sent through preheaters and a vaporizer, which are used to heat the working fluid. The brine is then returned to the resource. At the other end of the cycle, the working fluid is pumped from a storage tank, increasing its pressure and sent through the preheaters. Then, in the vaporizer, the preheated working fluid is turned into a superheated gas. The resulting high-pressure gas flows into an expander. There, the gas expands and drives a generator, producing power that's fed to the electrical grid. The working fluid is returned to a liquid state in a condenser and flows back to the storage tank. From there, the process can start again. ORC expanders are not new to Atlas Copco. Large turbo expanders have been deployed all over the world, transferring high-temperature geothermal heat into renewable energy. But the challenges of converting heat from the more common lower-temperature geothermal sources are very different. So when Vito started its Balmat drilling project for low-temperature geothermal heat, Atlas Copco was keen to participate. The project offers a unique opportunity for field testing of a modular ORC concept and gaining experience in regulating several modules to balance power generation with the needs of a distributed heat network. As Vito teamed up with Energyville at Thor Park Genk, a new world-class thermal lab became available for preliminary functional testing and fine-tuning. We are here in the laboratories of Energyville in Genk where we bring together the researchers of KU Leuven, University of Hassel, IMEC and VITO to work together on the energy systems of the future for large urban areas. We collaborate very intensely with industry to get new ideas, to propose new ideas and to have an integration of fundamental research and applied research. And Atlas Copco was one of the first to join us here and to work together on several aspects, amongst others the organic Rankine cycle, where we try to use low temperature heat to produce electricity in a sustainable way. Atlas Copco strongly believes in the potential of modular ORCs for transferring low temperature geothermal heat into locally distributed renewable power, tailored to distributed heat networks. Applicable to other heat sources, such as industrial waste heat, this technology will contribute to a sustainable future of renewable electric power generation and distribution. <laughs>